Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about chatbots, what they are, how they work, and also like why they are becoming more and more popular. Specifically, we're going to look at Open OpenAI's ChatGPT. So this is the new crazy model that they just came out with a couple of days ago. So this is actually like really crazy. We can just ask it like anything. It can debug our code. It can even like write code for us. You can ask it like whatever questions you have. So this is basically like the new Google. A chatbot is basically a computer program program that uses artificial intelligence to simulate a conversation with a human as we're going to see. This allows the user to interact with the chatbot in, in, in kind of like a natural conversational way using both text and or like voice commands. Here we're specifically going to see how we can use like text commands together with OpenAI's ChatGPT. We're going to have a conversation. We're going to ask it uh, a number of different kind of like questions, try to see if we get, get some answers and also the capabilities of the chatbot. So chatbots are powered by a combination of machine learning algorithms and predefined rules, as we're also going to see when we scroll through the website. So they act like using reinforcement learning to train these agents. So the machine learning al algorithms, they allow the chatbots to understand the user's input. So basically um, they're using like, they basically just decode what we're actually throwing into the model or like what we're throwing into the prompt. Then they decode it and then they use like reinforcement learning and all those different kind of like stuff together with predefined rules to actually like understand the user's input and also provide a rele rele relevant response. Chatbots are actually becoming increasingly popular because they can provide like convenient and efficient way for users to access information or like perform tasks. We can basically just like ask it anything or like uh, tell it to perform or like do something for us. As we're going to see some examples, this is definitely like the new Google. You can just throw in what you want to it and it will just give you an answer. You don't have to like Google things. You don't have to like scroll through whole Google track, like find information. You just ask it a question and then you'll get a response back with a lot of information and information is actually like really detailed. So you can, for example, like use a chatbot in the future to like help customers book a, like reservations for like restaurants, use it for like frequently asked questions. Also, if you just want to have like a general person that you can talk with, you can actually like just go in, use the chat GPT model here from OpenAI. So basically, again, chatbots on AI and all those different kind of things combined are becoming like increasingly important and also widely used in many different industries. Like they can help automate tasks and improve like efficiency, but they also raise important ethical and societal questions because now we're actually getting like closer and closer to AGI, artificial general intelligence. So basically what we're going to see with this open uh, open AI's chat GPT is that we're actually like getting closer and closer to AGI. This chat GPT is actually more intelligent than any human on earth. So we're not jumping into open AI's website. We're going to look at this chat GPT. So it's used for optimizing language models for dialogue. So basically here they have trained a model called chat GPT, which interacts in a conversational way. So we're actually like going to have a conversation with this chatbot. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, so it acts like has memory as well while you're chatting with the bot. It, you can act like follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and also reject inappropriate requests. And so this is actually like a really nice and general dialogue model that they have created from this GPT model. So ChatGPT is a sibling model to the Instruct GPT. So this is actually like GPT 3.5 which is trained to follow an instruction in a prompt and provide a detailed response. So again, we basically just have a prompt, we throw in some questions or some things that we want the chatbot to do, and then it will respond back with the different kind of like possibilities from the internet. So it's basically just looking at all the different kind of like information that we have on the internet. It is basically just like Google, but it actually like generates an answer for you and just throws it back into the chat again. So again, this is the new Google. If you have a question, just throw it into the chat GPT and it will actually like give, it, give it you a really detailed answer. You can ask it about like everything, like what is a neural network? How do you train neural networks? And all those different kind of things. Also math questions. You can make it write code. You can also like debug your code. So you can throw in your code. Just a ask like what is wrong with this code here? Why does it not work? And then it actually like tries to come with a response for it. So this is really cool. We're just going to see, uh, scroll down the website here and see some examples. And then we will actually like go into the chat GPT and have a conversation with it. So here we're going to see some examples. We can just see that this is the user input. This code is not working like I expect. How do I fix it? And then we basically just throw in the code. And then it acts like comes back with an answer here. It's difficult to say what's wrong with the code without more context. Can you provide more information about what the code is supposed to do and what isn't working as expected? Also, is this the entire code or just part of it? And then it actually just ask 
follow-up questions you got just give it more details uh, and then basically at the end it will come up with an answer or like it will at least try to come up with an answer the, the good thing about this one here is that it actually feels really natural to have a chat with this bot because it has memory of the previous inputs that you gave to the model so this is actually pretty cool here at the end it actually just gives a really de a detailed um, answer at the end we can use we can see some of the methods that they use so they actually like use reinforcement learning with uh, human feedback to actually like train these models we're going to dive more into that in another video where i'm actually like going to explain uh, like all the theory and all the details behind these models how they actually like work and how they're trained so in this video here we're just going to have an, like some kind of like introduction to it we're going to talk about like the overall uh, on like a top level what it is what it can be used for and then we're going to see some examples so here we can see the different kind of steps Again, we're going to dive way more into details of these steps, but basically they just like have all this data here. They have the, they have the GPT 3.5 model, and then they just fine tune it with supervised learning with the use of reinforcement learning. Here, we're just going to see some examples from the OpenAI's website. So here we can see, tell me about when Christopher Columbus came to the US in 2015. So this is actually like a really interesting, uh, interesting prompt uh, to throw into the model because again, um, here we can see that Christopher Columbus died in 1506, so he could not have been in US in 2015. But let's pretend for a moment that he did. So it acts like interprets like above what you actually like ask it. It just goes like out of the scope. It just tries to come up with a really good answer, and the answers you get is actually like really detailed. So here it just like throws out that if he actually like came back, you will be very surprised at the changes that occurred since he first landed in the New World in the United States. And then we also get a lot more information down here at the bottom. So let's now actually just jump in and see some examples. We're going to have a chat with it. We're going to ask it some different kind of like questions. First of all, we can see we have some examples. We also have like what capabilities does it have? So does it have? So here we can see some examples that we can tr try to like throw into it, see what it actually like responds. But the good things about ChatGPT here is the, its capabilities. So it remembers what the user said earlier in the con conversation. So again, as I mentioned earlier, it has memory, so it feels really natural having a chat with this chat GPT bot. It allows users to provide follow-up corrections. So again, this is because it has memories. Uh, you can just provide it more information. It may, might act like it might look up some different kind of things, and then it might need some more information. You can ask like follow-up questions, or you can do corrections, uh, follow-up corrections. So it gets more information. It can come with a more like detailed, um, detailed answer to your questions. It can just like. This is just really crazy. I'm I'm really mind blown about of the capabilities of uh, ChatGPT. It's also like trained to decline inappropriate requests, uh, so we can't really throw any of that into the model. It is really good that they act like uh, keep that in mind and act like train the models to decline um, inappropriate requests. So it just again, it's it's a really good uh, it's a really good model. You can basically like use it as Google instead of going to Google search for something that you want to look up. Or if you have some errors, you try to you want to like try to find some information about about different stuff. Just go into ChatGPT instead, throw the, your questions into the uh, into the prompt here, and you will get some really detailed answers as we're going to see. So first of all, here we can just try with one example. Got any creative ideas for a ten year old birthday? We're just going to copy paste that, we throw it into the prompt, and then we just hit go. Sure, here are a few ideas for a ten year old uh, birthday. And then we basically just get the response from the chat GPT. Um, it acts like it acts like pretty farce here with the response here. We can actually like see that this is some kind of like person that we're actually like talking to. So it it, it kind of looks like it is just writing it out. We don't just throw in the questions here. Then it processes it, and then we just get the results. It acts like writes it out here line by line. So it also makes it feel a bit more natural. And again, the insights here that we get from uh, chat GPT, it just feels like it just feels. It just feels very natural. You can even like argue that this is actually close or like a part of AGI because this is more intelligent and it has more knowledge. It gives more detailed answers and more correct answers than any human on earth. And again, this is just really cool. You just throw it in, you get your answers, really detailed answers. You can just ask it anything. So again, here we can just see we get all these results. So here we just get like some examples. We get five. Uh, five ideas for a 10 year old birthday so basically like here like host a virtual uh, scavenger hunt give the birthday child and their friends a list of items to find around the house or neighborhood the first person to find all the items and send a picture of each one wins a prize 
So I actually like, get some pretty nice ideas here that you can use. Like we can also like have a movie night. We get a bit more details. Have a do-it-yourself spotty. Uh, plan a fun outdoor activity. If the weather is nice, considering planning an outdoor activity. All these different kind of things have a baking or a cooking party. And again, I hope these ideas inspire you to plan a fun and memorable birthday party for the 10 year old in your life. Happy planning. So again, just the last sentence here, it just gives it a really nice natural like person to person conversation. We can like try to like ask a follow questions or we can just like change the direction completely. So here we're just going to get another example. So here I'm just going to ask it, what is a neural network? Question mark, what's a neural network? You throw it into the prompt. And then it just gives an answer. Again, very human-like. It just writes it out. A neural network is a type of machine learning algorithm modeled after structure and function of the human brain. It is composed of many small computing units called neurons that are connected by weighted edges. These neurons process and transmit information by responding to inputs and activating or inhibiting other neurons in the network. Again, we just get this really detailed explanation. This is a really good definition of like what is a neural network. Overall, a neural network is a powerful tool for solving complex problems in artificial intelligence and machine learning. We can also go up and see some of the other different kind of like examples. So we had it here in the reset thread. Explain quantum computing in simple terms. We basically just pass paste it in and then we can actually like both ask it questions, but we can also tell it to do something. So it can be like explain, explain something. You want to get some information. You want to learn new topics. Just throw it in, explain. You can also make it act like write things. You can like make it write code and stuff like that. So here we just get a, a, a quick sum view over like in simple terms of what is uh, quantum computing. We can also act like just go in here, write a YouTube video manuscript, manuscript uh, for computer vision, for example, or let's just say deep learning. And then we can actually like make it write this manuscript here for a YouTube video by just throwing it into chat GPT. Again, write a YouTube manuscript for deep learning. Title, Introduction to Deep Learning. Hi and welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about deep learning, uh, a type of machine learning and so on. So again, you can just make it actually like write these, uh, write these manuscripts here for uh, your YouTube videos. Or if you just want to like write something out, you can also make the chat GPT do that. Again, you just get a really ni nice and detailed manuscript um, in a really natural way. So when you're actually like doing these things, it is also like, it is just with the focus on making it natural. So it just feels natural. It feels like you're actually like talking to a person. You just, this is kind of like your personal assistant. If you just want to look up things, this is the new Google combined, uh, combined with a personal assistant. So here, but what makes uh, deep learning, you just get a lot of different kind of like details here. So this would actually like be a really nice script for a YouTube video. So again, this is just really cool. I'm going to create a bunch of videos with the chat GPT here. We're going to create some videos where I'll explain in details how are the mo these models, these really large language models act like trained, how we can utilize that. And just, these are just milestones on the way to ADI. It is really cool. I'm just, I'm just act like mind blown by the results that we get from chat GPT. I'm probably not going to use like Google anymore for like looking up things. We just get these really nice detailed response from ChatGPT. Throw, it, throw your questions into it, get the answers. If you want to like write something out, if you wanted to explain something to you, if you want to like debug your code, you can't find it on Google. Maybe just try to like throw it in here and see if it can actually like help you out. So it can be useful a lot of different kind of things. I'm definitely going to use this way, way more in the future. And I'm also going to create more videos about that. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just will help me and YouTube channel out in a massive way. So I'm doing these tutorials with deep learning, computer vision, AI, and so on. So I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll see you next video, guys. Bye for now.